in data science and engineering help you add value to other people's lives the chocolates the cookies getting great internships with great stipends layoffs hit in this video i'm going to be talking about a brief history about myself so that it can help us connect better i'll be going through what i've done in the past few years where i've been the lessons that i've learned and where i stand currently in my life so let's begin just a few months ago in july this year i completed my btech in data science and engineering from iit mumbai I know half of you must be thinking that she must have it all figured out having a degree that to in data science which is booming currently in the market but is that really the case well to get an answer to that question we'll have to go rewind the clock a little bit four years ago i walked into college and enrolled in mechanical engineering and after two semesters i had a choice to change my branch to data science and engineering Now I was messed up like hell inside my head about what to choose and what not to choose. I did not like the data science courses that much at that point in time. Personally, maybe because I hadn't given it enough time and I needed more practice. Considering everybody was talking about data science at that point and the abundance of job opportunities and the learnings that it was going to give and how every industry currently needs it, I just jumped into it. From here on, my journey continued, and I took various courses like Python, machine learning, deep learning, neural networks. But soon, I realized that I had not approached my courses. In fact, my entire college life the right way. My motivation behind doing a certain thing was primarily driven by grades and not by genuine learning, and that was the very reason why I did not have strong affinity towards my own field, data science. So this entire experience taught me a very important lesson that instead of focusing solely on grades we must embrace the entire learning process because at the end of the day what really matters is whether you have gained a deep understanding of your subject or not because that can only help you add value to other people's life and that can only happen if you focus on growing yourself growing your skills and developing yourself as a person So instead of focusing on rote memorization you must focus on gaining skills. After this came the internship season and I could not help but notice everybody around me doing DSA programs working so hard getting great internships with great stipends. And personally speaking what attracted me the most was the gift hampers that they received the chocolates the cookies and all of that stuff. But on a serious note, I also had to choose for myself what I had to do. Should I go on the same path as them or should I let myself explore other things as well? So, looking at everybody else following the same path where it was very clear what you had to do. You do an internship, perform good, get a PPO, you have a job and your life is sorted. So since the path was very clear and you did not have to worry about what to do next what step to take next and what not to do next I quickly jumped into the safe zone because I personally was very afraid of not knowing what your next step is and so that made me quickly fall back into my comfort zone now after this I went and followed the same drill doing dsa resumes projects and all of that but it did help me get an internship at amazon and i was very happy about it i did that internship for 2 months and after that i did get an email one day that i had the ppo and i was very happy about it i told it to my parents my family and they were equally happy but i was more than happy about the fact that i wouldn't have to do dsa problems anymore sit for interviews anymore and go through that pressure anymore and i could sit back relax do nothing and watch movies and series all day long so then that thing went on for a pretty long period of time but i soon realized the fact that happiness does not stem from doing nothing but it comes from perpetual growth and learning there are so many people including me who think that how good my life would have been if i did not have to work at all and i could sit in bed all day long watch tv watch movies and do nothing so trust me i'm saying this from my own experience that it does not happen that way everything looks good in moderation 
too much of work for a long period of time is bad and too much of break doing nothing for a long period of time is equally bad you soon begin to feel empty inside because you're not growing you're not doing anything good you're not adding value to people's lives and actual happiness comes if you're adding value to people's lives if you're helping somebody in some way now around this time i realized that there were so many things that i'd wanted to do before college learning how to edit videos how to make videos photography painting sketching and what not but i did absolutely nothing initially because i was shy to do the things and afterwards because i fell into the zone of doing the most practical thing preparing for internships placements exams ka kya hoga grades chahiye and all of that stuff but now since i had the ppo and i also had the time to explore different things so i thought of starting my journey from there so i started with drawing back in college i had this entire wall filled with stickers which people used to appreciate and they also loved it so i thought of starting a small business out of it i used to make my own stickers and sell them to my friends and it felt absolutely amazing it felt so good that i wanted to do more and more of it that was the time around which this greatest storm of layoffs hit and i was sitting there with no official offer letter in hand but just an email saying that i had the ppo and i obviously could not rely on that only because of the situation going at that point in time everybody was talking about layoffs i could see it everywhere around me youtube news linkedin friends in college every single person was talking about it and i even could see my seniors who were so talented getting laid off and that made me even more tense and i had absolutely no clue about what to do next so i started preparing again for interviews very slowly Now I also knew that this precious time in college with my friends is not going to come back. So I made a decision to use every single moment that I had left in my hand. We went on trips, we danced, we cooked together, we we had these movie Fridays, we even went for picnics on the mountains. We did absolutely everything that brought us joy. And this beautiful journey with my friends came to an end one day. with a call informing me that my offer to join Amazon was deferred till January next year i felt shattered lost and did not know what to do while all of my friends were getting on with their lives joining their first jobs and spending quality time with their family before their first joining date i was lying in my bed all day long and this was the point when my mother entered my life and completely transformed my perspective She made me realize that everything in life happens for a reason and you might not realize it right now at the moment but later on when you get ahead in your life you will realize that something had to happen for you to reach where you are right now She told me that these 6 months were a gift for me to refresh to relax to spend time with my family with my parents and to go with double energy and give my best in January I came back to life and restarted my interview preparation with all those resume reviews and doing those DSA questions projects and all of that stuff but at the same time I did not forget to spend quality time with my family there were moments when I thought that nothing was happening and all the support that I was putting in was just getting wasted because I wasn't getting any interview calls I wasn't getting any links to give the tests but I told myself to just go on for a little more time and to give it one more shot i told myself to just see what happens if i do not give up this time so i persisted and went on with it and finally at the end of all of it i did manage to get an offer letter from a company which wanted me to join immediately but now at this time i had also received an offer letter from amazon So I had a choice in front of me to either join immediately or to wait for 4 months and join Amazon in January considering the fact that my offer had already been deferred once and that everybody else was already moving forward with their jobs I was even more tempted to take this current offer 
but this time i thought to myself that i finally have these four months in hand and i'm not going to get these four months again god has given me this opportunity to utilize my time to explore different interests which i could not do in college because of the same thing going behind other people following other people following what others are doing so i just decided to give myself this time and to explore other things so that i will not have any regrets when i go out in a job and i will be able to perform much much better so i made a well thought choice to let go of that offer so here i am back in the realm of uncertainty but that's okay because life is all about making choices it's a journey that you follow and along that journey you make a lot of different choices and each and every choice that you make leads you to a different destination and that's it for this video i hope to see you all soon in the next one